Hey guys, welcome back to Bits of an Artist Life Art Supply Haul Week. I don't know why I did week to that, but I wanted to let you guys know I do not order big chunks of supplies. So for these art supply hauls, I like to put like a few shipments in together. So that's what this video is. I can't remember if it's two or three. Whatever it is is what it is. But I also wanted to tell you that the supplies that I show here will be linked below in the description. All right, let's open the boxes. Look who we have, art supplies. Pretty excited about jumping into these babies. Oh no, I'm probably making Nancy Gruskin nervous. She always gets nervous and Gray does too with the way I handle scissors. Let's set those babies down. Okay, this first package I'm not as excited about because I think that it's back order supplies from literally beginning of quarantine. So let's open this first. Dying to see this second package. And okay, Nancy, just don't look while I'm doing this. Or for anybody else that I make nervous, Grady, if you need to close your eyes right now, just do that, babe. Just close the eyes, act like this is not happening. I mean, maybe I make myself a little nervous too, but who has time for being careful when you got our supplies to get into? All right. And then all of this spring, that's like a baby's being birthed. Okay, I want you, can you just also notice the size of this box? Because you're not gonna believe the ridiculousness of what's in here. this little box. Redonkulous. I mean, utter redonkulousness. Okay. More scissors. Okay, let's see. That big box for look. These two little tiny oil pastels. These are my two of my favorites. Everybody's coming in here, Fanny Cooper, sorry. So this is, I don't have my glasses, I cannot read it, but I'll put it on the screen someplace. But basically two of the oil pastels that I use a lot, and if you watch my favorite colors video, you'll hear about these. Okay, now, let's get into the real one. Coop's why I get his tail, he can tell I'm excited. Could you sit down? Go lay down, go get on your bed. Yeah, or get right there, that's great. Okay. Now, let's get into the real one. Once again, if the scissors stuff makes you nervous, please just turn your head. Do you like what I have to do when we're watching like TV shows, like either animal, like vet ones, or fate hospital ones, and they do all this, or even real ones. I just, I'm always like this. Ah. I get real jittery when they're doing like gross, bloody surgical stuff. Let's hope no blood happens here. I am getting a little upset. Okay, more ridiculousness. Oh. Okay. Uh, I forgot I got these. Okay, this these are um, brushes that I needed to reorder because did I have one right here? Yes, I think this is these. I've been using my I really need my glasses. Where are they? Robert Simmons Signet round hog bristle brushes for like everything, even my gouache because I found that I can like get in there and really dig around in the paint and get a lot. And I'm wearing them down to this really fine point. And I'll show you the new one. They're a nice point too, but not like rubbed down. So I, I stopped back up on these. I didn't think I got this many. Gonna have to look back in my order. Interesting. I got two threes and two fours. Okay, great. I mean, they, they have like the binder stuff on them to like make them nice and pointy, but that's what they look like out of the box. It's, they're a little smaller. I know, know y'all are used to me saying use a big brush. It's weird, I go through seasons where I wanna use a big brush and then sometimes I feel like I'm wasting a lot of paint with a big brush and then sometimes I use a little brush, I don't know. But here is an old four and here's a new four. And again, it's got that stuff on it. Let me see if I can kind of break it, break it up a little bit. 
yeah, I've real. oh, let me hold them exactly. That will be able to help you see. I've really worn it down to like not much. Okay, well that's good to have. Forgot how it works. Okay, these needs next two things. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited about these. This is not something I needed at all. I've just been wanting to get them. I got two different sketchbooks. And I still have like six that I'm working on. Maybe this will make me motivated. Oh, they're bigger than what I thought. Maybe this will help me be motivated to wrap up my other ones. I'm getting to the end of several of them and I start getting nervous because I always feel like, oh no, if I go on a trip, I don't want to take one that's almost finished, but like I'm going on a trip anytime soon. So I think that old feeling was coming in. Oh, well, let's not get anybody. I just am wanting to get these sketchbooks. I got them. I also ordered two more from another artist that I'll be, when I get them, I'll be showing you guys, but she made her own sketchbooks, like had them made. I'm very excited about them. I'm going to also try not to use these until I'm done with my others. I really figured that's probably not going to happen, especially if I'm going to open them up, which I am going to open them up here for you guys because, heck, we have got to touch the paper. Guys, I'm sitting here editing, and I thought I would tell you, spoiler alert, I did jump into the hardback one because, wait, is that what it's called? Hardback? Yeah hardback one because we took a camping trip and I wasn't feeling very good so I thought well to motivate myself to paint because sometimes when I'm not feeling good it's really hard to feel you know, to get into the sketchbook and so I thought I'm going to take my new sketchbooks and or one of my new sketchbooks and reward myself or it's, it's not really rewarding yourself but basically I'm just letting you know I did break into one of them the hardback one and I love it oh my gosh I love it but I just wanted to let you know that my resolution to not open it until I finished the others did not work, but it was a nice thought. These markers are driving me crazy. Shoo, what I thought that I would try to do, I'm gonna open these because we've got to fill the paper and I wanna give just my initial feedback, but I think what I'm gonna do is put them on the shelf and when I feel the urge to like start working in them, I'm gonna say, no Sandy, just act like this is your own art supply store and you can come over and look and fill these whenever you want because that's what I do when I, I'm in an art store or a lot of stores actually. I touch everything, I'm a real like toucher. Sometimes Grady will come over and be like, hey, do you wanna fill this? It's like the only thing in the store you didn't touch. And then also, I'm always like, oh, Grady, come fill this. Oh my gosh, this feels amazing. You've got to fill this. And he, he came up with a new rule years ago. He goes, you only get two touches. That sounds terrible. But literally, I'm like, oh my gosh, you've got to fill this. It's so soft. Or so. And he's like, are you sure? You only have one left. <laughs> literally. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. That's what he'll do. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's get back to the art supplies. All right, this one was recommended by another artist who's an illustrator. She really likes these, and it is so thin. I'm kind of like, wow, I did not realize it was gonna be that thin. It's thin, but that's fine, that's fine. I'll feel accomplished when I finish it quicker than others. And it may have as many pages. I don't know, this is just interesting. I've never had this brand. Ooh, the cover feels nice. Okay, here's the info. I'm hoping it's... Okay. All right, so it's supposed to lay flat. What is this paper weight? 180 grams, okay. Ooh, first off, I like the cover, it's like soft. It is a soft, literally a soft cover, but then it's actually literally soft. I wonder if I should ask Grady to fill it. Okay. Um, okay. Oh. Yeah, that, wow, it's got quite the smell. Wow, I've never opened a sketchbook that smells like that. Interesting. Wow. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's interesting. I don't know what the smell is. Okay, I'm not sure if it's going to lay flat. I will have to, like, work it to get it. Sometimes flat you have to, you start in the middle and press and then you go a little more and press, press, press. But I don't, I want it to feel like it's come out of the store when I have it over there in my bookshelf. So I'm not going to do that. I want it to still be pristine and I'll save that part. It's kind of interesting paper. It feels like it's going to be, okay, I'm happy with it. I, I'm excited about this. Yeah, I don't need to get too excited because I'm going to try not to use it. 
Okay, there's that one. And then the second one, this is an interesting shape. Not exactly the shape that I thought. Okay, this is, I've had this brand before, Stillman & Burn. You guys know that this is my favorite sketchbook brand. And this one is the Zeta. I think I use the Alpha, which is like the maroon cover. I use that for a lot of my wet media. I usually just paint it in it. The Alpha has a little more of a bumpity, not real bumpity, but has a little tiny bit of texture. The Zeta is smooth, but I've never had one of their hard sketchbooks. Okay, so I'm really excited about trying it, like seeing if it lays flat like the others. It's kind of heavy and it's big. It's weird to me that it's bigger than the other, but it is. Here. Okay, this right here is the Zeta. No, this is the Epsilon. Oh, this is Zeta. Did I get the right thing? It's a smooth surface. I don't care what it is as long as it's smooth. Maybe in the Epsilon they don't have the hard back. I don't know, but basically this is the size that I've been working. You know, I usually just measure by the head size. My head's looking really big today because I forgot to <laughs> my hair before I got on the camera. I took a bath this morning because my uh, back has been bothering me. And I pulled it up like that to be in the bath and then I forgot to do something with it for the camera. I, when I just went and washed my hands, I looked in the mirror and was like, oh, Sandy. Okay, but anyways, oh, who cares? Y'all are used to weird hair. So this is, just realized that my head looks a little bigger today. That's, what, that's the whole point of all that. So here's the size that I've been working in, and then look, this is bigger. But I'm excited. I kind of wanted a little bit bigger sketchbook. Okay, let's get into this baby and feel the paper. I'm kind of excited. This is a series I have not had before. I do wish the, the cover's got a little bit of a texture to it. I kind of wish it was a smooth cover so I could paint something on it. But like, who's kidding who? I never do that. I always think I'm going to decorate my cover, but I never do because it feels like a lot of pressure. This feels like a really special book. Oh, I love it. Oh, did I already show you this? I think I did, but I can't remember. Okay, I better, I better show you. I think I did. Okay. Wow, guys, this feels nice. I mean, I have not had a hardcover sketchbook since like the early days of sketching. Okay, I feel like I need to like stand up for this. I don't know why. I'm going to though. I feel like I just need an overhead feel and look because this is what I would be doing if I wasn't doing this on camera. Oh, guys. Oh my gosh. Whoa, I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I kind of wish I had the same feeling about the other one when I opened it, but guys, this is special. Wow. Wow. I love this. Okay. Now, it was, I feel like it maybe was a, close to the same price as what I usually order. I can't really remember, but it, I'm pretty sure it has less sheets than my other one usually does. Wow. This feels special. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, I know sometimes people don't like like a really special sketchbook because then they feel like intimidated. And I get that. I used to kind of feel like that too. Oh my gosh, it is gonna be so hard to wait. Look, I'm already smoothing out. I'm not gonna be able to wait. I can already tell. Wow. This, I love this size too. Oh, I got a room. Wow. Okay, hot diggity doggity. I can tell this paper's gonna be amazing. It's th way thicker than my other series. Mm. It just feels nice. And let's see, how will this be? Oh, I could work in it like this too, like holding it and it'd be actually flat and give me a surface when we're traveling. Not like I'm traveling, but maybe let's just say if I go out, you know, side and paint or I'm standing up someplace. <gasps> that this is a possibility to have for the future. Mm. Man, it's really nice. I have the window open. I don't know if you can hear the birds outside. I wish the owls start hooting and hollering. Man, isn't it fun? Like, oh, it's so fun when you get supplies that you're like, okay, that <laughs> feels exciting. My legs are like shaking because I'm so excited. Okay, okay. Let me go back and look at this other one now that I've... I mean, this is going to be wonderful too. These two are similar in size. Similar. Similar. Like, well, no, this, my hardbound one's definitely bigger. I'm excited about this, guys. Yeah. This paper has a little bit of, it feels like it's going to be really absorbent. No. Okay, so I wasn't going to smush it open. I'm going to go put these on my store shelf. 
and try to not use them. But I'm going to use these and my oil pastels. Okay, I'm going to go clean up this mess and put my supplies in the appropriate places, the store and in places of I can use these now. And then there's a painting back there I'm working on, just in case you wanted to see that. Happy morning to me and to you. I got a fun package in the mail yesterday. This. I have a friend who is an artist and she sells these handmade watercolors that are from Poland. It's a family owned company. She came across these watercolors on some travels, contacted the company, and now she represents them because she loves the watercolors so much. And I've heard a lot of really good things about them. But we were chatting and she does not have a lot of experience with gouache or matte acrylic. And so she asked if I could give her some feedback, if I would try some of the paints. So she sent me some. I'm excited to see what's in the package. I love trying new supplies and I am very familiar with gouache and matte acrylic paints at this point. So I was like, yeah, send them over. I'll give them a try and let you know I'm pretty experienced with this stuff. So it'll be fun to like swatch them and do some painting and stuff. And then I'm going to get back with her and give her some feedback. But I wanted to unbox these things with you. It feels pretty heavy too, so I don't know what's in here. All right. So Nancy Gruskin, this is for you. I have a box cutter instead of those scissors. I know that you were worried about my safety and health and life with the way that I was opening other boxes. So friend, this one's for you. Let's get to the real business. After you see me open this, you may think that I should have this taken away from me too. Being careful though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get the scissors. I'm feeling quite scared with this. See extra goodies in here. April, excited. I'm gonna just carefully dump everything out. Ooh. Okay, I can definitely tell she sent me some extra things, which is quite exciting. Oh, okay, I'm excited about that. I'm gonna open that in a minute. Let's open the things that I'm pretty sure I already know about. This looks like the acrylic paint. The paints are Renaissance paints. I'll put a link below so you can go check out her store if you're interested in the watercolors. Okay, let me mention this before I forget. I'm gonna put links below in case you are interested in going to check out her watercolors that she sells. They're artist quality and they are very affordable and I've heard really great things about them. I have not tried them, but I definitely wanna put a link below for you guys in case you're interested. Just very affordable paints. I think it's because they're kind of like new in the States. So yeah, okay, let's get back to this. I just wanted to mention that before I forgot. Let's see, what color is this? So magenta and some kind of blue. I can't find the name unless this is it and it's something I cannot pronounce. And then this is titanium white. Great, that will be fun. I think these are the matte acrylics. Yeah. I'll put April's stuff right here. Oh, she sent me 
a bunch of gouache, more colors than what I asked for. That was so sweet. Chrome yellow, alizarin, crimson. Oh, some of these I think are in another language. Ultramarine, cyan, carmine, deep yellow, and wow, there's a bunch in here. Titanium white and ivory black. Okay, I'm excited about trying these, yes. Oh, she sent me two chrome yellows. What? Two blues and two reds. Wow, 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 okay. Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah. And then, ah, uh, a sketchbook. Wow. Nice. I'm excited about this, too. Hey, I always love a new sketchbook. That will be fun to try. I like the size of it, too. Oh, hmm, yeah. I think I may even like paint this page. I like this, and it's got like a little thing. Ooh, wow, I'm excited. Okay, oh, 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 and one more thing. Jeez, on these. April, this was too much. Wow, oh. Huh. Ooh, this looks like a nice paintbrush. Wow, I'm definitely excited about using this thing. I like the size too. Oh, and it's an orange handle. Oh, this brand makes these. Ooh, okay, I get to try out all kinds of stuff. Wow, fun. Oh yeah, this is gonna be nice. Oh wow, that's a nice paintbrush. I'm excited about that. Wow, yeah. Well, hot diggity, that was fun. She sent me way more than what I thought she was sending me, so. Thank you, April. This was over the top kind, and I'm going to have a blast this weekend playing with all this. Yeah, so that'll be fun. I will show you some of the tests and all that later that I do. I'm really excited about it. It should be fun. <laughs> That's a nice shot. Drum shot. I'm so weird. Sorry, guys. Let me try to stand like a normal person. How would that be? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go play around with this stuff now. Okay guys, I was not planning on picking up the camera for this. I was just gonna play with these new paints, but I got so excited I wanted to pick up the camera. So these are the Renaissance paints that my friend April sells and sent me to give her some feedback. So I thought I'd use my gouache palette and I cleaned it up. Usually it's all messy, but I wanted everything to be clean. So here are my normal colors. Usually I have it like that and those are all dried out. I really like it when they're nice and squishy like this. And guys, I mean, just from like squishing these out, I really like the consistency. They're really nice and squishy. Professional terms going on here. Real liquidy, and I'm kind of excited too. I have this feeling that as they dry, they won't get as rock hard as these get. I do know there's some honey in these, so they, yeah, I think I'm pretty excited about them. I love the colors she sent me. Wow. I'm excited. So I'm going to do some color swatch swatches. I always say color swatches. Color swatches. Look how pretty that is. Yay. I'm loving this brush she sent me too. This is like really nice. Yeah, I'm really happy with this so far. So, yee, off to play.
Guys, I'm having so much fun. I'm really liking these paints. I am remembering how much I miss working with wet gouache, goopy gouache. I just don't work in it enough. It's kind of like my watercolor. I don't work in it enough to keep them goopy. And as much as I want to put this in like a cover it and keep these goopy, I think I'm gonna let them dry out so I can see how they reconstitute. That sounds like a legal thing, doesn't it? But it's not, it's just a paint thing. I think that's the right word, reconstitute. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm really having fun. I think I'm gonna paint a bird later. Well, I didn't really have birds on my radar to paint, but I feel like that's a subject that I paint a lot and it would be a good subject for me to be able to tell what these paints do, but they mix well, the colors are nice and vibrant. I'm happy with them. Having fun, having fun. Making colors watches. The wind is blowing like crazy out. All right, I gotta go do this, finish this before lunch. Okay guys, here's the sketch I did. I did these two birds with the paints that April sent me, the Renaissance paints. And then this one I just used with my normal, my other brands are like Holbein and uh, Winsor & Newton, just, you know, just the normal brands. So these are the birds that I did. Yeah, it was really fun to, to try. I thought I would do something with like, you know, a subject that I was familiar with. And then I just made notes. I don't know if you can read it, it's kind of light writing but just kind of made notes it was a really fun page to do let me tell you about something exciting that's coming in the future several of you guys have been reaching out to me about a new product by golden i cannot remember what it's called at the moment it's got a neat nifty name i wish i could remember but i can't it's a matte acrylic product kind of like acrylic gouache product and several of you guys have been like hey have you heard about this so I reached out to Golden and was like hey you guys need to send me some because I have a YouTube channel and I need to try these paints and they responded and they're gonna send me some of their paints I cannot believe it I'll definitely be doing an unboxing and trying those things out for you guys too to let you know I hope you've enjoyed this I know I have that's it for this week guys I will see you back here real soon